हेलो आना हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन हाउ वाज योर वीकेंड आई सो 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 व्हाट हैपेन आई बैक टू वर्क सैटरडेटरडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडे
Okay. Antes de empezar, antes de empezar, ¿hay alguna pregunta o duda de la lección 1 o 2? ¿Hay algo que no pudieron hacer o algo que no les quedó claro la primera semana de clases de la 1? ¿De la 1 o la 2? No, dicho. ¿No? Ok, excellent. Then let's continue. Ok, so we're going to learn how to talk about different places. Ok, about places. Let's watch the video to learn vocabulary for places and things. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so we're going to practice. The, we are going to make sentences. I put in the chat so you see, okay? So, for example. Okay. This is an example. You can buy food at a supermarket. Wendy put an example. You can buy medicine in a drugstore. Okay, this is the idea. What can you do in the place? Okay, so what can you do in the different places? Okay. So they mention a lot of uh, they mention a lot of places. They said uh, restaurants and. Uh, Pharmacy, gas station, a bank, uh, a drugstore, a post office. So in the chat puts, what can you do in the different places? Good. But Crisia, no in private, send to the group, Crisia. No direct message, put to the group. That way Teacher, everybody can see. Yes? How to say ganar, but money ah very good this the pronunciation is earn Grecia, put your sentence in the group that way everybody can see is good example Okay. Todos pongan un ejemplo en el chat. Un ejemplo en el chat. A sentence in the chat. Like Crisia and like Wendy. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Jocelyn. You can buy jeans at a department store. Oh, good. Remember is department store. Very good. Ah, nice, Paola. Nice. You can run at a park. Okay. Okay, 
good ideas. We have some good ideas. You can buy apples, okay. Let me see. You can buy aspirin at a, at a drugstore. You can learn English in Insaport. <laughs> That's right, Eric. You can learn English in Insaport, okay. Yes. You can buy fish at a vet. Very good. Okay. Very good, guys. This is the idea. Excellent. So now we are going to practice. How are we going to practice? Here. We are going to listen. You can buy. Ah, good. Good, Tricia. Only the spelling. Venga. That we put. Let's put here. Let me put it for you. Sarai, mm, you can buy to the park. Mm, not complete sentence, Sarai. What? You can buy what? For example, you can buy soda at a park. You need to put the thing. Sorry. That's right. You can buy Chinese food. Chinese food. Good. All right. Now, with the partner, we are going to listen. Here, we listen and we need to complete here the four. Okay. First, let's read. Sarai, can you read number one and the examples? Read question number one. Where where is Jean going to buy the sweet uh, sweet that the what she needs? Mm -hmm. And the options. What are the options? Mm. Little B. Uh, Little B. Mm -hmm. At the store. Store. And be at Some the months. the. At, at the department, at the department, at the department store. stores. Okay. All right. Good. Let's try number two. Okay. Eric, read number two. What does mom need from the supermarket? Little A. What is the pronunciation? The pronunciation gr groceries. 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 Closer, groceries, clothes, groceries. Cookies for dessert. Okay, let's see. We're going to find out what the mom needs. Okay. Wendy, number three. Teacher, what is, what is groceries? Groceries. Sorry. Groceries are is the food. Groceries is the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does dad need from the drugstore? Aspirin. Okay. All right. Good. And let's see. One more. Crisia, number four. Crisia, number four. Where, where is my going to go? Where is my going to go with his dad? To the drugstore? To the to the get a newspaper. Okay, now we are going to listen and check. Listen is correct. If not, we change. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? 
Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay. So, number one is at the department store. Is okay? Yes, okay. 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 Number two, groceries. Is it okay? No, no, no. 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 What is number two? For dessert. Cookies for dessert. Cookies for dessert. Okay, cookies for dessert. Number three, is it okay? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Number four, is it okay? Yes. It's okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Excellent. Those are the correct answers. You see, all of those are correct. Excellent. So now we are going to practice with our partners. Okay, with the partners, we are going to practice speaking. We are going to say five places, five places and what you can do there. For example, imagine Daniel is my partner. Okay, so I, I say five sentences and Daniel says five sentences. As an example, hey, Daniel, you can buy pupusas at a pupuseria. Is correct, Daniel? Pupusa is pupuseria. Yes, correct. Yeah, and then Daniel, give me one example. And then I give Daniel one example. And we are going to do five and five. It's okay? Five okay. and five. Okay. Okay. Let's try one more time. Oh, you okay? Eduardo, any questions?
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Gas. Okay, let's try some examples. Adela, give me an example. Okay. Uh, you can buy a laptop at the department store. You can buy what, Adela? You can buy? You can buy a laptop. Yes. At the department store. Good, very good. That's correct. Okay. Um, let's see. Sergio, give me an example. Uh, you can buy... You can buy coffee with milk in the, in the Starbucks. Okay, good, very good. Uh, Jocelyn, give me an example. Um, you can eat salad at the restaurant. Correct, good. Elmer, give me an example. Uh, you, can, you can buy a bowl in the sport in America. <laughs> okay, Elmer, good example. It's good. It's good example, Elmer, it's correct. It's good example. Buena publicidad. <laughs> <laughs> Marketing. Yes. Yes. Okay. De Choto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Moises, give me an example. Uh, you can buy makeup in in a department store. Okay, good, good. So now we understand, okay? You can and the action and then the place. Very good. Now we're going to learn compound nouns, okay? Now we're going to learn pronunciation, okay? Here is 3.4 compound nouns. These are the two words we put together for a new word. Let's watch the video. Let's watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, 
supermarket, bookstore, department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Get okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to use these places and we're going to describe what you can do in those places. For as an, as an example, a post office, okay? I'm going to make the sentence with post office. That is the first word. So with my partner, maybe I put, ah, you can. And what can you do in a post office? Estampillas. Okay, very good. You can buy, let's try, stamps. Stamps. Post office. You can buy stamps at a post office. Very good. Now I continue with my partner. With my partner, we are going to continue with all of the examples. Drugstore, gas station, supermarket, restroom, bookstore, coffee shop, department store. First, do you understand all of the places? It's okay, all of the places? Okay. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, okay. okay, so now we practice with the partner. What can you do in the different places? What can you do in the different places? Okay, let's try with our partner.
Listen into a conversation title, it's across from the park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Okay. It's okay. A medias. <laughs> so, okay. okay. Let's try some examples. Daniel, give me one example. Yes, Daniel, only you. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, you can buy, you can buy. Uh, gasoline in the gas station. Okay, very good. All right. Let's. Eric, give me an example. Uh, he can't buy medicine in the drugstore. Okay, good. Ana Beatriz, another example. Um, you can send letters in the post office. Correct. Good. Okay. Uh, Paola, another example. You can sleep at a house. Okay, very good. Adela, another example. Okay, you can buy potato uh, supermarket. Good. Sara, Sarai, another example. You can buy a cappuccino in the coffee shop. Excellent. Okay, any questions or it's okay? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to continue and we are going in our platform. This is the platform 3.6. Here's the last activity. 3.6 is looking for prepositions. Okay. First, 
let's look at some prepositions. Here we have the prepositions on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. Okay, let me put into the chat so that we can see better. Also, it's clear. Okay, so as you can see on, for example, where is Galerias? Where is Galerias? Ah, Galerias is on Paseo General. Is the street. For on is the street. Okay. So when do we use on? Normally we use on to describe the street. Okay. Then we have on the corner. This is for the idea for two streets. So where is the, the I don't know, the uh, Paseo General is on the corner of uh, Paseo and 25th Avenue, for example. This is for two streets. If we look in the chat, or sorry, we look here, you can see on the corner is two streets. Here we have Main Street, and here we have the other street is for two, okay? Look across from, okay? You can see across from is here in front one and then the other next to okay and then we have between it's okay the different prepositions no sé si pueden ver bien las imágenes se, se entiende cuáles son las cosas it's okay yes teacher thank you daniel yes is there a question? No, no question? Okay, let's watch the video. The idea is we have an idea for the prepositions. Let's watch the video. Or to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. 
the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U. Okay. I think the important is here. We understand we use on. On is one street. Okay. All of the street is on. Citibank is on Main Street. The department store is on Main Street, okay? The park is on Main Street, but we choose on the corner of for the two. For example, the department store is on the corner of Main Street and First Street, but is not correct. The bank is on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street is not correct because is not on the corner, is in between, ah, between the department store. And I think, I don't know what this is. Restaurant. Ah, the restaurant, thank you. Between the department store and the restaurant, okay? This is the city bank, this is between. So we have all of the propositions here on, in one street, on the corner specific, on general, on the corner of specific, across from is in front, is another to say in front, next to, to the right, or next to over here in the left. And then we have between, is we have one, two, and in the middle is between. It's okay? Teacher, one question. Yes. Um, across front is different, but in front of. Correct. It's different than in front of. So for example, here, let me put, for example, here, the department store is across from the park. Okay, or or it's across from the parking lot here, but is not in front of the uh, the park. In front of is here. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, for example, one more example here. This is. The, the department store is across from the parking lot. The gas station is across from the parking lot. The, this building is across from the parking lot, but only, only the department store is in front of the parking lot because look here, see the arrow is the entrance. Here is the entrance. So this is in, across from or in front of, but here and the gas station only are across from. It's okay or not? Yes, thanks. You're welcome, Wendy. Okay, good. So let's continue. Let's look at some more examples. First Avenue the U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now, let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of 
Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Before we practice, Let's... it's necessary. It's okay on, on the corner of, across from, next to, and between. Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Good. So now, I think for me, this map is too small. It's really difficult. Okay. Let me try to see if we can make big in the WhatsApp group. Let me try one more time. Let me see if I can make it. Teacher, si usted se ubica en la 3.7, lo que va a encontrar es el mapa más grande, el mismo. Okay. Let me try. Let's see one more example. Ah, a ver, otro mapa. O sea, es el mismo, solo que está mejor. Eh, sí, mejor. Mejor resolución, etc. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Entonces, es el que voy a mandar al grupo. Mejor. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Y qué vamos a practicar? Vamos a practicar diciendo las diferentes cosas. Ok. So, we can see we have the map. Ok. Here, we can see all of the different parts of the map. Okay, and the different places. We're going to use the prepositions. As an example, here's the hospital. Okay, so I'm going to ask, sorry, I'm going to ask my partner, where? Where is the hospital? This is the question. Okay. Where is the hospital? And my partner, look on the map. Okay. Where is the hospital? Donde está? Where is the hospital? The hospital is Center Street. Is on. Is on. Muy bien. This is, this is one form. This is una forma. ¿Cuál es otra forma? Where is the hospital? The hospital is a corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Correct. It's on the corner of. This is two. Two forms. Ahora, ¿cuál es otra forma? Where is the Be hospital? The hospital is between... The post office and gasoline and gas station. Excellent. This is three forms. What is the other form? The hospital uh, across from behind. gas station. Correct. Okay. But now we understand. Okay. 
no solo hay una forma de cómo preguntar, hay varias. Se fija, perdón, hay varias formas de contestar. ¿Se fijaron? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, we are going to practice with our partners. So, with your partners, you look at the map and you ask the question. Así como le puse en el chat. Van a, ustedes le van a decir a sus compañeros. Y sus compañeros, por lo menos, por lo menos tienen que contestar tres diferentes formas. La respuesta. Sí, Wendy. Así es. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Cuántas formas? Tres formas. ¿Es ok? ¿O hacemos un ejemplo? Un ejemplo. Ok. Another example. Bye. Así como acabamos de hacer. Vamos a hacer otro. One more. Okay, here we go. Okay. You see the map? It's okay? Okay. Okay. Let me make the map bigger. Okay. Así que yo le voy a preguntar a mi compañero, cualquier lugar. Okay. So, here we're going to use the, the supermarket. Okay. The P and J's supermarket. Where is the supermarket? Where? The supermarket is on Main Street. The supermarket is on Main Street. One. Mm -hmm. Can the, mm -hmm. the supermarket is a corner up on Main Street and Second Avenue. Correct. Good. Two. Falta uno más. One more. The supermarket is, super is next to Davis Drugstore. Correct. This is three. And that's it. Like the example, we are going to practice three, three forms. Okay? Okay. Let's practice with our partners. Let's try.
Okay. It's okay. Any questions? No teacher is clear like water. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. We're going to stop right there and then we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay. But first, let's make sure. Nuevamente, para los que llegaron un poquito tarde, eh, una pregunta o duda de la lección 1 o 2 de la semana pasada, algo que no les quedó claro o algo que no pudieron hacer en la plataforma. Bien, acuérdense que, solo que se acuerden, por favor, si no... Si no preguntan y tienen dudas, no les puedo ayudar. Así que espero que el silencio significa, hey, teachers, somos campeones, somos los mejores, entendimos todo. Usted lo explicó increíblemente y no necesitamos más. Eso espero que es el silencio. Mm, yo tengo una consulta, pero no recuerdo cuál sería la lección. Este, la voy a buscar y yo le consulto a través del chat. Ok, perfecto, Daniel. No hay problema. O oh, mañana lo vemos aquí para, y aquí proyectamos para que cualquier otro que tenga la duda también se le pueda ayudar, que tenga la misma duda. Perfecto. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna duda? Ok, then thank you so much. Thank you for coming to class and I see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.